Hello, everybody. I'm Mirror from the Portland City Gym. Today, we're going to be going over a deck that, um, at first I haven't really thought about. Um, it's kind of just been at the, the back of the, uh, the, 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 the word, words are difficult. It's been kind of at the back of my mind. Um, however, it does have some cool things going for it. Um, some stuff that I never even really thought about. So, um, without for any further ado, let's get into the deck. So the deck I'm playing here is Flareon Vespaquin. Um, Flareon Vespaquin uh, have the exact same attacks, sort of. Um, so we, first we play 4 EV for Flareon. Flareon has um, two attacks, but we're only worrying about one since we don't play Fire Energy. Um, so for Double Calls, has Vengeance, where for uh, it does 20 damage and does 10 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Now, um, of course, in order to make full use of this effect, we play a lot of Pokemon. As you can see, we play 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28. Um, we play 31 Pokemon. Right, right, is that, is that right? Yeah, 31 Pokemon. Um, so, there's a lot of um, damage we can do here, um, including the fact that it's an evolution Pokemon, so... You have to take two slots out. We can do um, 310 as our max, which may not sound like much at the moment. Uh, however, um, there are a lot of ways we can boost that damage. Um, now, one thing that I really wanted to add in here but could not find the room for the life of me was um, Giovanni's Exile. Uh, so, for those who don't know what Giovanni's Exile does, basically it says that you can discard uh, two Pokemon on your bench. Um, so this is a good way to get rid of Shamans and Dedenes, gets rid of, um, liabilities, and lets you re, uh, it lets you do more damage. So, um, really good card, uh, for this deck. Um, so if you get, any of you guys can find the room, maybe, like, cut a Zorua or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely do that, because that card it seems really good. It's maybe just even, like, a one-of tech. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's vengeance can do a whole lot of damage um, under the right circumstances and this um, deck is just very very aggressive overall um, Then we play four 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 combi Vespaquin line now Vespaquin is kind of just like the same card um, It does have two attacks both of them. We can use this time Intelligence gathering it is ten damage and you draw cards until you have six if you're doing that you're losing the game um, So don't do that but then, it has the exact same attack as Flareon, just as a different name, and on a different Pokemon. Uh, Beat Revenge, 20 damage, 10 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So, uh, Flareon gives us some nice fire coverage, and Vespaquin gives us some grass coverage. Um, of course, things like Eggrow um, are pretty popular and expanded right now, so fire is definitely a pretty solid type to be hitting. Or, a uh, weakness to be hitting. Um, as far as Vespaquin goes, I can't think of too many grass-weak Pokemon at the moment. Um, however, you never know. Um, but mostly it is there just as a secondary attacker, and um, more things to throw into the discard pile if need be. Then we play four copies of Unknown. Unknown has an ability called Farewell Letter, where once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is um, on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. Um, and then... Just draw one card. Um, it just gives us extra draw support and puts more Pokemon in the discard pile. So, that's pretty strong. Uh, then, we play three copies of Zorua. Um, it's, 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 it's a Zorua, you know. Paralyzing Gaze is the best one, so always try to use that. Um, then to Zoroark GX. Um, Zoroark GX has trade where you can discard one card from your hand once during your turn and then draw two. So this is going to allow you to discard Pokemon and give you more draw support, kind of like unknown. Um, and then you can use Riotous Beating. We do not play Skyfield, so it does have a max of 120 damage. Um, and we don't play any real damage modifiers. Well, actually, that's not true. But um, yeah, so actually with... Uh, one of our damage modifiers, you can one-shot a uh, Trevenant and Dust Noir. So that's, that's important. Um, but then as an extra, like, Trevenant and Dusk Noir measure, we play 
uh, one copy of the Zoroark from Black and White Base with Foul Play. It says, choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Of course, there are just some very, very strong attacks in the game right now. And Foul, and foul Play can copy them regardless. So, that's very, very good. Uh, now, we're on the final five Pokemon. Uh, the main component to this deck. The main thing that makes it work is Jolteon with Electric Effect. It says that each of your Stage 1 Pokemon in play is now an Electric-type Pokemon, in addition to its existing type. So, Flareon becomes an, a Fire Electric-type. Vespaquin becomes a Grass Electric-type. Zoroark GX and regular Zoroark become a Dark and Electric-type. Um, and what can we use to power up Electric-types? Power electric, yeah. See, you you guys get it. Um, uh, and if you guys don't get it, and you guys are blind or something, I'll explain it later. But right now, being an electric type is very very good. Let's just say that. Uh, so then we play four, uh, two copies of Shaman EX for setup. Obviously, probably uh, one of the be best cards ever printed. Um, then one copy of Dedene GX. Uh, Dede change, of course, discard your whole hand and draw six. A lot of synergy with Vespaquin. Um, then we play two, uh, trainers are up next. We play two Professor Juniper. Um, it's, it's Professor Juniper. Discard your hand, draw seven. Discards cards. So, yeah. And then two Guzma, um, just for the gusting effect. If you want to play one Guzma, that's probably the space for the other, for the, uh, Giovanni's Exile. But, yeah. Um, so two copies of Guzma, and that's it for the supporter lineup. We don't play any N because we are never going to fall behind with this deck, and if we are, we're losing anyway. Um, and we don't play any Colrus because we're never really going to have that, m that many, uh, benched Pokemon. We'll have them, of course, but I mean, like, just... Colrus just isn't a very good card in this deck. Shuffling and then drawing what usually isn't going to be that many cards just isn't very strong. However, if you want to include a copy, good luck in trying to find the room. Um, and then Karen, of course, it's very counterintuitive because we want to have to Pokemon in our discard pile. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. Um, next up is items for Ultra Ball. Because it's Ultra Ball, discard two cards and um, search your deck for a Pokemon. So discard um, Pokemon and get more Pokemon to discard with Ultra Ball, so you can discard more po more Pokemon. Yeah. Um, then for VS Seeker to get back supporters, um, this is kind of why I wanted to reduce my uh, supporter count even less than what it is now um, to make room for more stuff. Because we do have VS Seeker to um, reuse supporters at our own convenience. However, things like Professor Juniper or Guzma being prized, <sighs> that was the longest yawn I've ever had. Um, but um, Professor Juniper and Guzma being prized would just be an absolute catastrophe. So that is why I play two. Maybe just two Juniper, one Guzma. Guzma, you, you, there there are times when, you, when where you might not really use uh, Guzma in a game. So maybe. Uh, and then four copies of Electro Power. Electro Power. I am so glad that I had this random stroke of genius. Right? So you use Jolteon's Electric Effect. Each of your Stage 1 Pokemon in play are now um, Electric type Pokemon in addition to their original types. Flareon is an Electric type, Vespaquin's an Electric type, uh, Zoroark's an Electric type, and the other Zoroark is also an Electric type. So. Uh, since they are now um, electric type, we can make use of electro power. Um, oh my god, sorry. Um, so uh, I, I'm I'm really glad I was able to come up with this um, fun idea. Um, it, it can get a little clunky at times. Um, trying to set up the Jolteon and then having an um, electro powers, it can be a little clunky. Um, however, I don't think it's going to be that huge of an issue. Um, and then four copies of Battle Compressor. Um, Battle Compressor is just there to compress Pokemon. <laughs> um, you don't really think you need Zoroark in this matchup? Compress it. You don't think you're going to need Vespaquin? Compress it. 
Don't think you're going to need, um, I don't know, shaman or something. Compress it. You know, what I'm trying to say here is just discard Pokemon and supporters. Compress it. Uh, then we play three copies of Trainer's Mail. This is probably one of the more cuttable cards in the deck. Trainer's Mail is very, very good because you can look at the top four cards here of the deck. Um, put a Trainer card you find there, um, excluding Trainer's Mail, uh, into your hand. It's like Jirachi uh, from Team Up, but it searches for one card less, but I mean, it doesn't take up Pokemon slots, so you don't have to play switching cards, and um, yeah, so. I think Trainer's Mail is, the, is a superior item search, but that's just me. Um, we play three of them. So, Trainer's Mail, this really helps things go a little bit smoother. Um, you know, of course, we play low counts, of Professor Juniper and Guzma, so Trainer's Mail can really help you find them. Uh, however, like I said, you don't really need to play them, um, because... You know, it is like, it, Trainer's Mail is more of a luxury than anything else. It's help, thing, help things run smoother. However, if you think that something else would help things run smoother, like Giovanni's Exile, or um, more Pokemon, which I don't think you really need, but, you know, the option's there. Um, so, yeah, Trainer's Mail is very, Trainer's just really, really good overall, honestly. Um, then one copy of Special Charge. Uh, special charge is just there to put back our double colorless energy. Um, yeah, well, this, this is pretty self-explanatory, I think. Uh, Dowsing Machine is our ace spec of choice. We play a lot of trainer cards here. Uh, you need to reuse an electro power so you can just get get the get the win without um, your opponent suspecting anything. Cool, Dowsing Machine, get it back. Uh, you need to special charge again because. Um, you discarded it early, or something like that, Dowsing Machine, um, will fix your problems. Um, I don't know. Um, you know, you need to Guzma for the game, but you don't have any, uh, VS Seekers? Okay, bam, Dowsing Machine. Solves all your problems. Um, I don't know, Broken Marriage? Dowsing Machine, it. I mean, what's, what, I mean, there's no harm in trying. Um... Yeah, so, um, it, it's like, it's like the, po it's like the Pokemon version of Flex Tape. You know, it's just, it just fixes everything. Have you tried Dowsing Machine? What was that? You haven't tried Dowsing Machine? What are you even doing, you know? Um, Dowsing Machine is probably the second best, um, uh, a spec behind computer search. So, um, yeah. I don't really think you need computer search here, just with all the consistency cards we already have. Um, oh, and Dowsing Machine, in order to use its effect, you do have to discard two cards from your hand. So, discard more Pokemon. You know, it's, 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 it's an idea. It's an idea, you know. Um, so that's our aspect of choice. And then four double colorless to round out the list. Um, if you want to play Twin Energy, good luck finding the room, like I said. Deck list is extremely, extremely tight. Over a little over half of the deck is Pokemon, so um, yeah, good luck. But yeah, here you go. Okay, um, so that's so that's the list. Um, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, and as always, this is River from the Portland City Gym. Still not editing this part out, and signing out. <laughs>